For practice it, exercise 1.3, well-formed, we are asked to write a complete Java program in a class named well-formed that prints the following output. First thing that we're going to do is create our class. It's going to be public class and the name of our class, which is well-formed. We have a bracket here to start it and then a closing brace right here. So first thing that we're going to have in here is a main method. So we have to have, or we have to write public static void main. And inside of our parentheses, we have string brackets args, and then a parenthesis here, and then a, or a bracket there, and a closing bracket right there. And inside of here, we can start writing our code. So we can write system.out dot print ln with parentheses and quotation marks on the inside. We're going to need a couple sysout statements so we can really just copy and paste this in a couple of times and start filling things in. So our first line is this, a well-formed Java program has. So we can paste this in here like this. The next line says a main method with then we have this brace and another brace right here and then our next line just says braces we have an empty line right here so we actually don't need these parentheses and we could just have that and in here we have a system dot out dot print ln statement and then we just keep going on with these strings and we can really just to save time copy and paste them in because we don't really need to type all of them so this this line though has a parenthesis inside of it so after we paste this like this we need to have a backslash in front of it and the backslash allows a parenthesis to be inside of our code or inside of our output and we won't get confused with ending our system.out.println string. After this line, we have um, this code right here, or this output right here. So we'll type this in like this, pull it together, and we can get rid of these. So we'll do this. And remember, um, our output uh, wants a backslash and a parenthesis. This backslash parenthesis here just gives a parenthesis. If you want a backslash, you need two backslashes like this for it to print out one backslash. So this is our code and we can submit it. There is a spelling error on line seven. This sh should be statement, not statement. And if we submit it like this with fixed spelling, we will pass all of the tests. And that is the code that will produce this output. The only thing that was more challenging was this line where we needed two um, backward slashes to get it to print a backward slash and then a parenthesis.